Hey there, it's Christine. I'm having some fun time here. I keep, I have my hand on my tablet here. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> so I'm having a little bit of fun doing my recording today to, to, to go on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, Christine Trainer talking to you from my humble abode in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. April 27th, day 146 of my everyday journey. Now, I'm going to take off from yesterday when I had a very teary off day and I was having frustrated because I did go for a wonderful walk, get out of my headspace yesterday and was proud of myself for that. But then I came back home and he saw the bill and my bill was really high. And he said, my sweetie said, I've only told you before, I'm only paying what we agreed upon and that's it. So that's all that happened. He only paid a small amount of my bill and the rest is up to me. And I tell you what, guys, last year I was out looking for work, okay? And I had a hard time finding it because of my age. I'm 59. Not many people will hire you at my age. Even though I have lots of, gained an awful lot of knowledge from the variety of jobs I've had over the years, I was off for a while because I had some health issues to deal with. I had some physical, and that lead to a lot of problems uh, emotionally and so I was dealing with a lot of things for quite a number of years and he supported me my sweetie until last year um, I took the I decided to go sacrifice some stuff and start a new career in my life online direct mark online marketing now what I want to talk about this for is now because it's very hard work and it can be very daunting. And since I'm the kind of person who gets very emotional and having dealing with my emotions, why that's why I meditate on a regular basis. And I did it today for about 10, 15 minutes. It was awesome. And the reason why I'm sitting here like this and I'm wearing my old T-shirt and I haven't had my shower yet, but I still look good. My hair still looks quite good. And I want to talk about this today. Why? Because I'm looking for work again and I'm getting my resume, resume in order, but because my resume is kind of outdated, I have to fix a little bit. And I might check, I might say, uh, I can't really say cooler brands, but who knows? I might do my cooler brands thing on my resume to show that I am doing different things. Hmm. Might be a good thing to add to my resume. You never know, right? Because it might show that I have different, I'm, I'm, doing different things. You never know. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that because I am part of Cooler Brands, a beautiful community of people who've really helped me and supported me. This is a community of people. What I love about this community is because we help one another, we support each other. Um, there's a feeling of camaraderie. We love each other very much. We care about one another. And that's what I love about this community I'm part of as well. I love the fact that it's not an MLM, no downlines. It's just a community of people working together, helping support, helping launch beautiful artists and inventors, get the products out to the market. And I love what I love about this is a six month money back guarantee that I really loved, but I'm continuing on with it. And the nicest part about it is, is the Every time we do it, it's one simple time action for these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful inventors and their products, we get reverse royalties for the life of the products. And that means every time the product sells, it's wonderful money quarterly or monthly comes to you because you've supported the product. Now, I'm not saying it's tons of money to start with. It's a small amount and it increases in time and that's what I love about Cooler Brands because you're learning you're growing you have so many ways to, to earn and learn and to do things and the fact that you can go online and just experience the beauty of this community and the beautiful products that are part of it and you get to share and enjoy the products too talk about it online I love why I'm talking about this today is because that's part of the reason why I might I'm going to put that on my resume so my, that might be something that somebody might be interested in what I'm doing. Hmm? Showing me that I'm experiencing online work as well and, and I'm doing better. I'm just, it's just a point I'm thinking about, guys. Because online work is interesting. It's part of who I am right now. It's the reason why I decided to go on YouTube and talk about my everyday life and how I'm doing things. And it might, it will help me increase my 
oh, how can I say it? Increase my, my knowledge of things. It'll help me do my personal development better because I talk about stuff and I'm reading all the time. In fact, I'm going to do some extra reading right now and fin try to get, get most of this book ready, uh, read, you know. It's Chicken Soup for the Soul, Think and Act and Be Happy. It's another series of it, but this way it's, you take the different stories from the Chicken of the Soup series, Chicken Soup for the Soul series, and he analyzes it, talks about it, and I've, I'm going to be finished in a couple of days. I'm taking my time reading this since it is my fifth book in five, four months because I said I'd read a book a month and that's kind of cool. And then I'm going on to the next book. But I tell you what, I'm going to go to my library more often and grab some books and maybe show them online and then because I can take them back and it saves me money because that's the reason why he was getting mad at me because I was buying books from time to time on Walmart, like 20, 10, 15, 20 bucks a pop. And that's, I can't afford to really do that right now even though I like to read. So I decided that I would do one thing, and that is to enjoy reading on a daily basis and get my resume in order, try to find some part-time work. I just wish people would understand, even somebody my age can do some good, decent work because we have a ton of knowledge in our head. We've experienced an awful lot in our life, life lessons. Um, I, I, am in, I am from the school of hard knocks of life. You know, I, I didn't go to college, guys. Like I said, I had a variety of interesting jobs in my life. It ranged from when I was a teenager, I, I delivered papers for my dad because my dad had a paper. Uh, he, he was part of the Globe and Mail, and so I delivered the Globe and Mail when I was a kid back in Ontario. And then when I came out here, I worked for Orange. I was part of Orange Julius for a little while. I did dabble in Orange Julius. Then I did Ar Army and Navy, which is a department store out here. Worked for a jewelry store called Miller's Jewelry. It's not around anymore, but I enjoyed that. Took some time off when I had my son, because I had my son during that time of my life. Um, I uh, took care of six kids at one time, you know. I did that for, for a few years. That was interesting. Six kids from ages from two to my son's age, which was 11, 12 at the time. Whoa, that was interesting. And then when that was kind of not... that. The, the lady moved away, so that wasn't, she went, I think she went to move to the interior, so that was different for me. And then as time went, went further by, further, um, I did a variety of other things. Um, I even, at that time, you cold called, right? You, you go on the, the phone and you dial people's number to see if they want to subscribe to the paper. I did that for a few months. That was interesting. Didn't make any money because I didn't do very well, but a friend of mine suggested we do that together. And we were working in an office to do that, but it didn't quite work out for me, sadly. My other, my friend herself, she did pretty good, but I didn't do very well. So I didn't finish with that kind of work. And that was interesting because I met a lot of interesting people. But I, I guess at the time in my life, I wasn't ready to, to talk to people like that, so I didn't. And then came the point where I worked at a beautiful sheet metal shop for a while. And I worked that for quite a few years where I was a sheet metal worker, did a variety of different things. I mean, I made transitions. I worked at a sheet metal shop, made a variety of transitions, you know. I worked at a sheet metal. Um, uh, I was one of the people who did that. I cut the metal. I created, uh, I shaped the metal and created a transition. You know what we did it for? We did it for marijuana, the marijuana grows back when it was illegal. <laughs> that was cool, right? And then from then on, I, I dabbled into direct marketing a little bit for a little company in Cloverdale south of me and I did that for uh, a year or so and then I end up working in the office with my sister doing the same thing continue on the work as direct marketing and that's when I learned a little bit about direct marketing and how that kind of it it's a it was a different version of direct marketing but it was interesting because I got to go on the computer an awful lot I got to interact more on the computer I spoke to more people on the phone and it was interesting but sadly that didn't quite work out because um uh our my my, my brother-in-law's company went on the wayside a little bit, but that's life. But it was a good experience. I learned enough a lot. And each job I had, I learned so many new things and how to work and deal with everybody in life. And I loved that. And then I had quite a few years off because my health due to my I had ovarian cancer. I lost my gallbladder. I had some incision hernias to deal with. I had some physical issues with my knees, with arthritis. Uh, IBS can be waning on you. So that my health started to wane for a number of years. And I took some time off. I used to do, I did some hiking to try to get moving. That was fun. Um, 
I just spent time to look after me, to take care of me, and I was doing really good. Like two years, up, I took two years to really work out and get my weight off, and that was awesome, guys. I did a great job, and I was proud of myself. Each year that I wasn't working, I did try. I did my best to work on my on my, uh, work on myself, and I used I used to go. I went to a counselor, guys. I'm not I'm not crazy. I just went to a counselor to deal with life issues, and while my sweetie was working for the city, he paid for it. It was it was good. I haven't seen my counselor for a while because money is tight, and I can't afford to go see her. And I'd like to, but instead, what I'm doing every day is a new thing. The thing that I started in, uh, almost ten months ago now, and that was. Gratitude, affirmation, and meditation every day. And that's what I'm doing to help deal with what's going on up here, to stay positive every day. So I work on myself as much as I can. But do the, And then that's why eight months ago came around the corner when I, when I talked about the beautiful world of online marketing, and I started doing that eight months ago. And I did that because I had a hard time finding work. I mean, this past year, I was looking for work, and looking for work, and they just wouldn't hire me. They, uh, I had my resume. I think it was rather outdated, and uh, they ta- asked a lot of questions. I did my best. I mean, I, Walmart over here didn't hire me. Um, a few other places didn't hire me, and I was getting kind of desperate. So that's why last year I started. I said, oh, "Let's try online marketing," and my suit, my sweetie said, "Okay, I'll help you out for a number of months. But if it doesn't work out, you got to go find yourself some work." And it has had its simple. Simple results, simple successes, small, short successes, and that's why I know I'm going on the right track. But because yesterday things transpired when he saw my bill, that was really high. And because I was doing some online stuff, I was paying for stuff online, and he told me a month before, don't do this, because if you do it, I'm not paying for it. So I did buy groceries and did other things through, through our agreement, and he paid for that but he didn't pay for the rest. And that's why yesterday I kind of broke down. I really had a hard day. But I didn't make the whole day bad. I mean, sure, I was sad all day, and I was really upset with myself because I went out for a walk to deal with how I was feeling, and I talked about that, right? Because sometimes going out for a walk, getting out of your headspace does help. But I came back to deal with the situation, and he got mad at me, and he was very upset with me because he told me, I told you last year, last month, do not do this or I won't pay for it. So he now he won't. He hasn't done it. He's tougher with me than anybody else. He'll go out and he'll help. He's a sweet man. He'll go out and be generous to, to a fault. And he'll help his friends out like you wouldn't believe. But with me, because I haven't been working for a while, he's tough with me. So I don't think that's really fair. What do you think, guys? Is that really fair? Or maybe it is because he's trying to show me and teach me. Because he was off last year. He had a hard time with income last year, or he went. He had he had a variety of jobs since he's a welder by trade, and I'm thankful, truly thankful, that I touch on wood, talk up, knock on wood, that he's still with the job he is right now, and I'm very thankful for that because if it wasn't for that, I would be, who knows where we would be, and I have, and I'm very truly thankful to the universe for what he's done for me. I always have, because this past, I haven't worked since I was. 48, 50, so it's been nine years since I actually had a real normal job. And that's why I decided to do the online work, guys. And it's wonderful. My God, I've learned so many interesting things, and I have a long road ahead. And like I said, I was brand new at this. I've never done this whole brand new thing in my whole entire life. So how am I supposed to? So I have to really learn. I'm taking some wonderful online courses to show me all kinds of things that I can do. And I'm taking some of these courses and taking some of it, and I'm learning from it. And I tell you, these online courses are awesome because they're free. And the dean dean of this wonderful university, Branding You, you go online, you go online, you register, you're a free student, and you can learn so many things. He has a variety of wonderful courses uh, for any, whichever way of online marketing you want to do. And that's why they call it, that's why he calls it branding you, because you're branding yourself. You're not branding the product that you're involved in. You're branding yourself. So if something was to happen to the company that you're working for, you'll still be in tune to brand who you are as a person. So people will come to you and talk to you and ask what you're up to and how how things are with you. And you'll gain a lot of knowledge about a lot of stuff. So that's what I love about this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful university. Branding you, and the, and Mr. Mark Lalonde, it's awesome, and I love watching his webinars. And every Sunday he has a webinar for something good that's going on, and I watch it. 
I watch it for as long as it is because it's one of my part of my personal development. And that's that's part of one of his courses art. He talks about personal development and how you could learn from that and how you should do it every single day to help you get some more knowledge in your head to learn stuff. That's why I'm doing my reading. Okay? That's why I'm doing my reading. Chicken soup for the soul. Yes, for sure. Think and act and be happy. I'm happy to, to be reading this. And I'm going to do a, a little bit of this before I get moving. And that's why I decided to do this before I get started moving for the day. Now, I was up to 4 o'clock last night, guys. I really was working really hard online. Because I'm doing other things online. I'm trying to give each one of my pages significant, beautiful content to show people it. Yes, things can be really hard. But think positive because always something happens. There's always a bright light at the end of the tunnel. And I always think like that. I know the universe is showing me stuff. That's why I threw my suit saying, stop. Take a deep breath. In with good. Out with the bad. In with the good. Out with the bad. In with the good energy. Out with the bad energy. And that's what I do. Quite often I'll just sit and do 10, 20 deep breaths of simple breath meditation to keep my mind fresh and strong. Because I, I do take things to heart really bad. That's life, okay? But I also know, I also know that each one of my challenges that I have at the moment in my life is a good challenge because it's showing me stuff. I've made some mistakes again, and I'm suffering from my mistakes. But you have sometimes you suffer from, from hard knocks. You suffer really greatly. And yes, I'm 59 years old, and I've started brand new in what I'm doing. But you know what? It also it's a wonderful journey, and I love to travel. Just put it that way. And so as a result of that, I'm moving forward, whatever the, like I always, I've said before, I'm climbing the life, mountain of life, and at the moment it's a really rocky crag, and I'm having a hard time dealing with it, but I'm going to get past the crag and get to the better part up top, and that's life for me right now. Life can be truly very hard, and, I, and when you make it hard, you make it hard in your brain, that's even worse. So guys, what I'm saying to you is, yes, it's hard for me right now. Yes, I'm dealing with some bad things. Yes, I'm making mistakes. Yes, hard trials are happening. And yes, I'm suffering for it. But in the end, I'm not going to suffer. I'm going to be elated. Things are going to come. So I believe, I have faith. So when you have a strong faith of what you're doing, yes, things around you can go wrong, unless you can have problems, guys. And boom, I've had a lot of problems this past eight months. It's been a hard road for me, but it's an interesting road because every time I think something's bad, every time I think I can't go on, something good happens, I'm learning something new, I'm trying something, it's a mistake is made, but I'm learning from something, I try, and then I move past it, happy in the knowledge that I learned something interesting and I'm going to do well. And that's what I love about it. So guys, in this wonderful world of online marketing, Yes, can be hard when you're not working. So guys, please, like I said yesterday, always have yourself some income on the side. Always. To help you on your way when you do online marketing. Because when you have somebody supporting you and things don't go right, you can go to supreme hell because your mind is not in tune. That's why I'm taking some interesting meditation. That's why I'm going online and learning about how to get Stay positive. That's why I do my affirmations every day. I have this affirmation mantra that I learned, and I do it every single day, like 20 times a day, or 20 times in one sitting, or sometimes 40 times. Like in another, I'll do 20 times and then 20 times again. I keep saying this mantra over and over again because I know that once you keep saying positive things, but be careful what positive things you put in your head. If you say the wrong positive things, things may not go well. <laughs> so be careful, guys, okay? Be careful. But my thoughts of today is learning and growing and understanding who I am. And my road, the road right now is rocky. But you know what? It's like a rocky little 
path that I'm dealing with at the moment. So the road of life is rocky for me right now, but I'm going to get through it through positive mind and positive thinking and dealing with it. As you can see, I'm not teary-eyed today because my mind, I had a good rest. I had good thoughts. And yes, my sweetie is so mad at me right now. I think he, he doesn't, like, at the moment, I might say something a little terrible. He did say something that scared me a little bit. He said he had no respect for me as a person because I wasn't working towards understanding what it meant when he said, be careful, or I'm, gonna, I'm warning you now. I said I wouldn't pay for some stuff, and I'm not. And so he didn't. So now I've got to find a way to deal with it and find a way to pay things off. So that's why I have to get my resume in order. That's why I was thinking of using what I'm doing now. Maybe that'll work pretty good. What do you think, eh? So, yes, life can hit you in the face really hard. But how you deal with it, how you deal with that punches, is how you're going to come up from that floor of how somebody, how the life has knocked you down. Take each step slowly and move forward and know that it's just all part of life. It's all part of learning. No matter what age you are, it's okay. And I'm here to say that I have been knocked down hard, but I'm, gonna get, I'm getting up and I'm getting and I'm moving. And that's what I want you guys to think about. Don't think it's bad because it's not bad. It's just all in your mind. I go through an awful lot, especially when I'm working online. And I really find myself, whoa, can I do it? Can I keep doing this? But I always find the strength because I know the universe is saying something to me. He's saying, keep on moving, keep on trucking. You're going to find something good at the other end. You're going to climb that mountain. And even though it's cr a crinkly, rocky part right now in your stages of that mountain, but once you, you're going to hit that top, you're going to get halfway, it's going to be good, you're going to keep going. It's going to be awesome. So that's what I want to say to you guys. Did, if you get knocked down, you can get back up. Get knocked out again, knocked down again, get back up again. Get knocked down again, get back up again. That's what life will throw you. It's okay. Stay positive in your mind. Steer to your path you're going to, and you'll be fine. This is my thoughts for today. Mm -hmm. I'm an example of it. I'm dealing with it right now, but I'm going to get through it. Because I believe in myself. I believe in what I'm doing. That's for sure. So, I hope you like what I had to say. I went over close to 24 minutes now. <laughs> That's okay. That's life, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. I'm dying to have some more subscribers. And I'm going to do a little bit of reading. Then I'm going to have a shower, carry on, have a light workout. I just enjoy my Saturday. And then I'll work on later on. I haven't turned on my computer yet. Why? Because I want to do a few things for myself today. Whatever it is I need to do online, I will get to. But sometimes, when you're on, you've been knocked down, you got to get yourself up, brush yourself off, start all over again. Okay, guys, make today a great day in your everyday journey, because I'm going to do it. Bye. See you tomorrow, by the way, day 147 of my everyday journey. Bye.